Hey everybody, thank you so much for popping in on this training about getting back to the basics or basically just a recap of the coach basics training that you, you go through once you become a new coach. So uh, this is not for meant for people who have not already gone through training. If you're a new coach and have already been through training, this would be a really good video to just get a little bit of repetition. Uh, if you're a veteran coach, this is probably a good resource for a little bit of a review. So before we get started, I just want to touch on something really quickly. There are a lot of frills and bells and whistles and resources and tools and all that kind of stuff out there when it comes to being a coach that we can get really wrapped into and that pulls us away from doing the basics. Now, all of those things, all of those things are really great. Uh, if you're already doing the basics. So it kind of makes no sense, in my opinion anyway, to pay for a PicMonkey subscription and make really pretty graphics if you're not having conversations on the side, okay? So this stuff is the important stuff. If you're struggling in your business, uh, this video would be a really good uh, option to go through and make sure that you're really doing the basics before you're uh, getting wrapped up in all the other frill. The other thing that's really important to mention Again, another reason to finish this training and watch this video is it's really easy for us as coaches to get sucked into what all of the other coaches are doing. So we see them hosting groups or workshops or posting all of these things and it's really easy to be like, wait, do I need to be doing that? Um, so the answer is you could be, but you probably don't have to be. So go ahead and dive into this training and make sure, just kind of a little gut check for you, that you are doing the basics first before jumping into all that other stuff. Thank you for popping in. My name is Allie Schrader. I'm a Star Diamond coach, the founder of Ambien, and I'm excited to run through this little recap with you. I think, it, I think it'll be a really great refresher. So the things that you can expect us to hear from this training and what we're going to go over is um, we're going to go through the vital behaviors and your why. So we really focus back on why you're here. Why are you a coach? The second thing we're going to chat about is sharing you and your story and using social media to do so. The third thing we're going to touch on is the connection cycle, really building those relationships and working through a power hour. And then just briefly, there, um, we'll have to go through some of the common questions at the very end. So number one, vital behaviors. Why are you here? Okay. Beachbody Corporate, the company that your business is partnered with, has developed these four vital behaviors, all right? And so they're things that you should be doing on a basically daily basis to move your business forward. You guys have all heard this before. This isn't anything new, but I'm going to go over it anyway because this is a recap training. So one, you got to be proof of the product. You have to be using the products and showing that they, showing that they work, okay? So uh, people aren't going to believe you or trust you or give insert whatever a shot if you're not using it yourself okay so do your workout drink your shake go tap into the performance line if that's your thing number two personal development you have to be working on yourself to truly be able to impact fully other people's lives all right so there's a lot of different ways to do this right now personal development you're doing personal development right now because you are diving into this training okay but it can be reading a book it can be uh tuning into a podcast that you really find beneficial it can be a book on audible it can be old summit video trainings it can be um a coach's training on youtube okay so what anything that you are going to work on yourself for your business on your own on the side something that your coach your teammates your success partners aren't asking you to do this is this is all for you okay and in turn when you work on yourself by diving into personal development you are going to be able to impact so many more people number three you got to invite all right that's like one of like the core <laughs> of this business and we're going to touch on that a little bit later but you have to be inviting and you have to be letting people know that they can join you on this if you're posting all this awesome content but nobody has a clue that they can do the 21 day fix with you or that they can be a coach also um you're missing something okay so you got to be inviting to your challenge groups to your coach basics to your sneak peeks um all of those kinds of things the fourth and final vital behavior that Beachbody has put out for us coaches to become successful is to recognize, all right? So that goes to challengers, that goes to your team, your future team, all that kind of stuff. Make sure that you're giving your coaches and your challengers a high five when they deserve it, all right? One of the biggest reasons that people leave their jobs is because they don't get recognized enough. They already don't get told they do a good job. So don't overlook that piece. Make sure that uh, you are letting your coaches know when they're doing a really good job. The second part of this first topic is really focusing in on your why. So you've heard this before, this isn't anything new, but to really go back and think about why do you wanna be here? Why are you a coach? All right, so 
Maybe that is really big for some of you. Maybe you have a financial drive for your family, whatever the case might be. We all definitely want to help people. Obviously, that is a big reason why we're here, but we need to find something really personal that we can connect with that will keep us here when people doubt us, when people say no, when our family is like, what are you doing? All right, so when you think about your why, I want to think about what drives you to be here. Give this some thought, and then once you have it narrowed down, make sure this is one of your daily focuses, all right? So maybe you write it on a whiteboard and read it out loud every day. Maybe it's the background of your phone screen. Whatever the case may be, make sure that your why is something that you are see and connected with every single day. All right. Moving on to part two, okay? So this is really about sharing your story, uh, how to connect with that, and using social media to do so. I want you to go ahead and take a look at one of your social media platforms, your Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, blog, whatever, uh, and go ahead and just kind of reflect back on the last few things and see what it says about you, okay? So what can people know about you when they go through your Instagram or go through your Facebook page, whatever the case might be. Then the next part of that is really just figuring out what you want to share. There's a really, really, really great assignment on this back in our Coach Basics group. Basically, it's an exercise that figures out 10 different items that you are good at or that you are interested in or that people ask you advice about and then kind of narrowing it down and picking from that list the things that you can post about on a almost daily basis, okay? So it shouldn't all be Beachbody. Your profile on whatever platform should not just be saturated <laughs> with everything and anything Beachbody. Yes, it's an important component, but you want to work in other stuff that you like about your life or hobbies that you have or um, things that you're good at and can share with other people. Anything that you can put on your profile to add value to somebody's day you know, in a very positive way, it's going to be really beneficial to your market and um, in turn bring them back to your business, okay? The other thing that is really important to do is to plan out some of your posts. Now, this doesn't have to be absolutely everything you post, but uh, you're using some form of social media, whatever platform, for your business now, okay? So, so much of what you're used to doing is like, I'm doing this thing now and I'm going to post it now. Um, and that's fine and great, and you can definitely still do that, but it's really important as a business owner to plan out into the future what you're going to post, okay? So that can be anything from making them all on Sunday and, you know, scheduling them in your head or copying them in your the notes on your phone. So on your lunch break, you can just do a quick paste and post it, um, but it's you have to get away from just instantly writing something and then posting it, figuring out what you're going to share each and every day ahead of time is going to be really beneficial, less stressful, and a really good use of your time. The last thing that we kind of talk about in this section of social media and sharing your story and what that all means um, is challenge groups, all right? So challenge groups are a really awesome way to stay connected with your customers to support them through their journey, all right? Um, I personally prefer using the app. I know a lot of people I uh, like to use Facebook groups. Whatever works best for you, I would encourage you to use the app. That's kind of the direction that we're heading. Um, but whatever platform you choose to use, go ahead and um, use social media to your benefit to do so. All right. Again, a challenge group is just a really great way to help your customers stay connected, to show them support. You can provide resources, you know, simple as recipes or um, articles to things they might want more information about. Um, it's a place where multiple people shooting for some sort of goal can all kind of meet together. And you guys, we like live on our phones, right? We use, I mean, we scroll Facebook or Instagram or whatever, like when we have two seconds of spare time. So it only makes sense that we are able to provide our customers with a level of support right there on their phone, right? All right, let's move on to the connection cycle. Now, this is one of the most important pieces of coach basics training. There are basically four main steps, okay? First one is deposits, the second one is inviting, the third one is responding, and the fourth one is follow-up. So with our deposits, we really just want to be chatting, being nice to people, all right? But engaging with them. This should not be anything beachbody related. This should just be um, commenting on photos, sending messages, that, whatever the case may be, asking questions. Just being a nice person and going out of your way to interact with somebody that maybe you wouldn't other, otherwise interact with. Uh, the second step is inviting, all right? So it's really important to let people know that they can be a part of what you're doing. 
they can be a customer or a coach, all right? So they can join your team. They can be a customer too <laughs> um, and get connected in your challenge group, okay? So you have to let people know that joining you is something that they can do too. It's not just like this elite club that you got into, all right? The third is responding. All right, so you've invited and they get back to you and now you're like, ah, what do I say to them? <laughs> okay, so there are um, a number of different ways that you can go about doing this. Again, tap into the resources on our page. But basically, some of the main um, answers that you get are, are no, which really means almost always not right now, um, are crickets. They're not going to reply at all. Or like, eh, this is not for me. And um, kind of let me know or follow up with me uh, at a different point in my life kind of thing. All right, so um, responding to each one of those, you know, can and should be done in different ways. And... There's some really good resources on how to go about doing that. The fourth is the follow-up. And so that is going back and chatting with people, even if it's not your turn in the conversation, uh, and letting them know that you're still there and you're still thinking of them and they are still more than welcome to be a part of what you're doing. So again, you guys, that is deposit, then inviting, then responding, and then the follow-up. And it's, it's something you're going to be doing with everybody all the time. <laughs> The next part of the connection cycle is really utilizing your power hour. And I want you to go ahead and screenshot this, this graphic, all right? Um, you can honestly do all of this in one hour and like be done with your beach body day, okay? So this coaching doesn't have to consume like hours and hours every day. It certainly can if that's something that you want to build it into, but it doesn't have to. So just going to go over these really quickly. Be adding contacts, all right? Um, Get in front of more people, basically. Two, new conversations. Be talking to new people, all right? Um, this, again, doesn't have to be beach body related. Third, make sure you're inviting. We've gone over that a few times already. Number four of your power hour, be following up with people. Again, even if it's not your turn to do so. Um, number five, check in with your challengers. Make sure that they're doing okay. Uh, you're giving them everything that they need. Six, go ahead and add value to your team page, whichever one you want or all of them um and then scroll through your news feed too focused <laughs> uh fo like in a focused way um and add value to anybody and everybody okay so be interacting commenting on posts sending people messages seven go ahead and check your coach online office um uh, and check in with your team see if any of your coaches need uh, that you sponsor if they need anything from you Eight, go ahead and respond to all those messages. You should probably have a bunch because you just did a power hour yesterday and reached out to new people and got new conversations going and inviting new people. So you're going to have messages to reply to. Um, number nine, schedule your next power hour and your future posts. And then 10, reflect on how you did for the day. Note the things that you can improve and move on to tomorrow. The fourth and final part of this training is really just understanding common questions and knowing where to find the answers. So some of the big ones are wondering how to send out links, um, where you can find resources if you want to keep learning beyond what you have already learned in training, how you can get questions answered. Your success partner or your coach might not be able to answer a question and you need to know now. So a bunch of resources on how to find them. And then really just understanding some of the jargon in the company, like rank versus leadership ladder and all that kind of stuff. So again, if you're on our team, go ahead and join that training page all of those common questions and a plethora of others that other co new coaches have asked um, are in that thread. So that's a wrap. That's all that I have for you today. Really just going over what I feel are the most important parts of coach training and really getting back to the basics. Do your power hour. That's like that one, that one slide that I asked you to screenshot. That is like the best thing you can do for your business is do everything on that list first, okay? Um, in your in your four vital behaviors because that's really important too. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Um, otherwise, have a great day. We'll see you in the team page.